How many mortuaries do we have in Ghana? We are talking about almost 300. 300. Okay. What does it take to set up a mortuary? Well, there are, there, are, there, are, there are standards that when this agency came in, we are trying to put in standards. The law requires that you have to first write to us expressing interest to set it up. Then you go to the district assembly for your permits and all that. Then you have your EPA permits. Then you come back to us for us to continue the process. So that is what it takes to set it up. But regardless of the permits you have from the district assembly or the EPA, if you come to us and we, have, we find reason not to grant you your wish to set it up, we will let you know. And we'll let you know the basis for that. And I must say public perception in this matter, in this instance, matters a lot. So we have 300 mortuaries. Almost waiting, 300. Almost 300. Yes. How many of them are fit for purpose? Well, that's a very ambiguous or uh, uh, to say fit for purpose. How many of them are licensed? None. None of them are licensed? None of them. None of the 300 none, none, mortuaries? None, none. But yet again, you can't blame them. No, we can. You're not doing your work. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, because so what does it, so so what does that mean when you say the li the mortuaries are not licensed? What they are working illegally. On the face of the law, you can call it so, but in the absence of regulation, mm -hmm. what are they supposed to do? The law was passed in 2011. The body wasn't set up. Nothing was done until somewhere 2019 that the president decided to set it up. So the consultant was appointed, staff office was located, staff were recruited. Then I come in 25th of May as the first uh, uh, CEO of the agency. So the work that has to be done started about three years ago. Or and between three years and now, not a single Montreal has been, has been licensed. Is that, is that? Yes, that is correct. But it is not easy for an, a, a new agency just to start up and start licensing. We have to set the standards. We have to check the tools. We have to develop the tools. We have to do the stakeholder engagement. Do you have the standards? Oh, yes, we have. You have standards. the tools? The tools has been developed. Final stage. What tools do you need to, to, to develop to license a mortuary? You have to let them know what you expect of them. How long will it take you to do this? Because if, if, if 2019 everything was set up and you were appointed this year, what's Well, I can speak for my previous tenure. Okay. But I can speak for my tenure. Okay, let's, let's so, stay with you. Yes. Uh, May to now is five months. Yes. How can we have a license? Any mortuaries? You tenure? have to engage them. It is, it's a, for me, I believe my form of regulation as a regulatory authority, we have to have a collaborative effort. Mm -hmm. You know, the people have been in the system without any checks. I must say, it's a, any regula regulatory authority overseeing them. Mm -hmm. They are used to it. They did some constructions. They, did, they put it up in thinking in their best of mind that that is what it ought to be. Mm -hmm. You come in and tell them, that isn't the standard. You have new, better, higher standards. You have to engage them. You have to engage them, give them time to, to correct what you think as a regulator is not the best. So it's a matter of stakeholder engagement, giving them time, and going to getting them to do what is right. You know, I, I still can't find, I find it's very hard to believe. So, the, the, for example, the medical school mortuary in Kolibu is not licensed? No. And that's supposed to be like the highest standard of mortuary? Yeah, you can say so. But it's not licensed? Yeah. What will it take for that mortuary to be licensed? They have to, they, they will take that, they come in, up, they have to apply to us. Then we set the timelines and send them the standards that we want to get it to them. But, as I speak... The standards that we want, we are still in the process of developing. How, how long will it take for it you takes to develop a, it the takes, You see, we don't want to do, get into a situation where we say one thing today and we change tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And mind you, in this much more mortuary business, they are interest, they are segregated. You have the government hospital, you have the government morgues, you have the private morgues, you have the quasi government, you have the uh, those that belong to the religious entities and a whole lot and none of them have been like none of them but not even the the private ones like the transitions and the lachibis no no none, none of them have none, been licensed none 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 but I'm, i must say that in the absence of 
this regulation, some have done well for themselves as mm -hmm. a business. Mm -hmm. I must say that. How are you ensuring that um, health and safety regulations are being complied with in the lack of regulation and licensing? That is when some, where we start the inspection and licensing, these are part of the tools, the, the standards we are giving to them so that they prepare themselves. Because I have to come for inspection. My team has to come for inspection. And if you fall short, we'll give you time to correct your, your, your shortfall. But if you don't comply, then the powers that be that give us in the act, we can move for closure and any other sanction that need be. So let me get the process right. You are waiting for them to write to you for the standards. No, or not, not just that. Mm -hmm. We as an agency, mm -hmm. the standards we have to set for them, mm -hmm. I am not ready. We are not ready to give it to them because okay. it's still in the development stage. When you develop it, you have to validate it. You have to test it so that you don't have different set for private or government. The standards should be the same for everybody. So it has to be tested. At this stage, we have tested it with one of the facilities that has a whole thing. And I must chip in mm -hmm. that the agency, by its name, if you should go so that it's just mortuaries, you'll be mistaken. We are in charge of mortuaries, funeral homes, crematoria, columbarium, mausoleums, cemeteries, hearse, and even the people that work in there. That we call the practitioners. Mm. We talk about the grave diggers, the sexton, the mortuary attendants, the undertakers, the pallbearers, the funeral home directors, all of them. So the so the job is not if you take it that it's only certain standard for mortuaries, you'll be mistaken. So cemeteries, so does that come under your, your yes? Your, we your... we license the space. Okay. We don't operate them. All right. We grant licenses. Even when somebody wants to bury the loved one at home, mm -hmm. they have to write to us for that permit. Okay. So you, you mentioned mausoleum. So the Kwame Nkrumah mausoleum is not licensed. It's not licensed. <laughs> this is. But that's why that you see, if you take it on the face value, mm -hmm. if you if you compare it to say NCA or National Media Commission, which has been in existence for so long, mm. you'll be mistaken. No, I'm not making any comparison. I'm no, just surprised. I mean, no, I'm just surprised that I, I'm our loved to, ones are, I'm just are, trying to die get, and then we bury them. But there's no standard. I'm trying for to get into. Your, I'm trying to get to the sub the, uh, the root of your, 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 your surprise. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if we don't have these regulations and standards, mm -hmm. that is what results in these kind of mortuary uh, cemeteries and mortuaries that we have, okay. which we are not all proud of. 